Hello. Hello, everybody. Back to rhyme. I'm just Ben's having a little bit of a wash. Having a wash. Having a wash. We just uh, get sea water out of my hair. Yeah, getting all the salt off his body. The little salty Sally. <laughs> um, that's a good point. We don't actually know the name of this character, do we? Well, I think you're just meant to. What should we name him? Mowgli. Oh, I can't get to say that. <laughs> Mowgli. Um, I don't want Mowgli because it's not the jungle. What about it? Ryan? Should we just call him Ryan? <laughs> Ryan, the hero of time. <laughs> like on a <laughs> that ego raptor, yeah, yeah, that's sorry, Starbomb, is it? Yeah, it's Starbomb. Uh, Starbomb song. Um, I'm going over here. Okay, we'll stick with Ryan. It's a tower. I want to go explore it. Tower. I thought we were going to go to one of the beacons. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, of course. Go go to that one. All right. Jump off. Do your little cannonball. I'm going to do a cannonball right into it. Although I don't really think swimming's a especially for this height. You might be able to land in that little shallow water. I'm not going to do it to him. I've, I've become too attached to this little boy. I wonder if we've got any like, modes of transport, because he's got like a little cape. Excuse me. You're maybe, on. maybe we can fly at some point. God, I feel like I haven't had any proper rest for like the last. Don't get me started on no sleep, okay? Because um, I have not a month. I was working last night. I was working last night till like 5 a.m. Hi, piggy. Well, I mean, like, I've had some rest. It just doesn't feel like proper rest. I went to Devon last weekend yeah um, oh you yeah, went to see your dad didn't you yeah so it's a five hour drive to get there uh, not that I was driving but still you have to sit in the car and not really it's it's move. hard is that a crab that's a starfish it's a starfish friend it's Patrick <laughs> what is Patrick is, is uh, Mr Krabs Mr Krabs yeah we've got to find a sponge now Spongebob uh, yeah so I went to Devon and it was a five hour trip there we left it the thing is I was going with family and uh we were to work that day on the Friday. Dude, there's a little red cake girl over there. Oh my god. I think. It is somebody standing there. That is, there's somebody on a red cake. Quick, go. Quick, jump into the water. Okay, I'm doing it. Don't do it, don't jump. Me. Hey. Maybe this is where we find our little fox friend. He's actually a person, isn't it? Circle. Oh, this is exciting. Oh, I don't want to go under. Oh, oh you do want to go under. You want a waterboard. <laughs> Music is very atmospheric, isn't it? It's beautiful, isn't it? It really um, it's like Skyrim almost all the room. Oh, she's gone. What? We're seeing things. No, she's back. Look, watch this, watch this. Oh. You're seeing things, Ben. Get up high, I might be able to see a bit. Maybe it was just a mirage. Maybe we're seeing things. That was that really, was pretty sweet. That's pretty cool. Wee, it's kinda like the music. I want to get this game. It makes, myself, me, it makes me happy. It's only on, play, only on PlayStation, Luke. I'm going to have to buy a PS4 just for this. Goes Down in History is one of the worst games <laughs> ever made. The music was incredible, but that was it. Um, what was I talking about? Devon. Devon, your family. Devon is actually a beautiful place as well. Like, is, it, is, it like, is it like rhyme? It's not quite as pretty as this. It's a, it's a different form of pretty. It's real for stars. Uh, it's, not, it's, not, it's not. It's not tropical or like uh, very sunny, and like it's very uh, green, rolling hills with like massive, distant views of like mountains and things like that. Yeah. Um, so it's a beautiful place, but it t takes ages to get there from where we are. Yeah, fuck. It, it, I would never drive there ever. No, we left at seven. Wales, seven to Leeds. I just. God, this is why I think you drive this one. We, we left at seven in the evening and got back. Got there at half twelve, midnight. Yeah. Um, and it was just exhausting. And then, uh, and then to get anywhere, this is the problem is you have to drive like 20, 30 minutes to get anywhere because it's just like in the middle of the middle there. And your dad wanted to live there? Yeah, I mean, they've lived where we are for over 20 years or something. So they're just bored of it. Oh God. Uh, and uh, they just wanted to escape and they've gone to a place that they like and they, the nearest Cornwall and I really like there. So um it is an incredible place to live I'd, I'd love to live there one day like in a place like that a yeah. little cottage my own little like writing desk are they both um are they both like retired uh no my stepmum is um my dad is and my dad work i don't know my dad's just started a new job actually i don't I can't remember what he does um but my dad is and my dad still works but um yeah i think that's a goal in life to get a, get a place like that where it's all uh well, maybe Massive if um, Game Jam really kicks off, Luke, and Game Jam, I'll buy myself a cottage. Buy yourself a cottage, yeah. I oh. want to get over there. I want to. I want to pick that thing up. This is what I think is really good. It it makes me want to. Um, 
it makes me want to go there and do something. Yeah, it's because it's not holding your hand. You have that free yeah. range of movement to sort of go, right, I want to go here. It's just something I don't think a games have done very well lately. This is obviously... Not totally why, but I've been playing a lot more linear games. Yeah. Because, um, just because I, it takes a lot of effort to play an open world game. Like I played The Witcher 3, which I haven't played for quite a few weeks now, because I just wanted to take a break from it. Um, but it, it is a lot of... It's a commitment, an open world game. It really is, isn't it? It really is. It you have to put all your time into it. You'll know that from playing Fallout What's this? 4. Ooh, oh, I yeah, don't. I Fallout 4, like, the first 20 hours are great, and then after, I just... Bored. I, I was killing people I really liked, just because I was pissed off at the game. <laughs> just for making me do it. Can you actually kill them, or they just flop over? There's a lot of people you can kill, some of them obviously you can't. See, I got Fallout 4 when it came out, um, and I was enjoying it for the most part, but it's... It's not amazing. It's not that great. It's not like everyone. Be careful. Be for. careful. We can't be saying it, all right? It's, it's not. I agree with you totally, but um, <laughs> it could be very brave. Right. <laughs> well, I don't. I don't care. Um, but for, it, it wasn't. It wasn't what I was expecting anyway. But I just want another Elder Scrolls. Uh, but either way, yeah. But the uh, open world game, or with a lot of content, is a lot. It's a big commitment. Especially when you haven't got that much time to play them. No, I agree. I and agree. then we did the whole Ben just before we uh, started this. Look oh. to see how long it was. Oh yeah, it was like, me thinking this game. It would, it would like take yeah, a nice four hours or so. Nice short game. This looks like it's going to be a bit of a commitment. Yeah. So it's what was it? Twenty hours or something? Is that what you said? No, uh, eight to ten eight, hours. Eight to ten hours. So it's quite long. I mean, that doesn't sound very long if you're just playing it non-stop on your own. No, you could if, you're, grind if, it out. if you're uploading like as much as we do, which isn't that frequent, is it really? No, because we record every... We record every well, Saturday. We've record, we recorded most weekends, haven't we, recently. Um, right, okay, this is a stupid... Jellyfish, idea. watch out for the jellies. I can't go any further anyway. Is it not letting you? No. You swim and go and meet them underwater. I see what, I can get up there though, which is okay. I'm going to... Is there anything in the water? It is very Zelda, isn't it? Yeah, like it is, the look isn't it? Of it. Look very, it looks very Breath of the Wild. Yeah, the whole colour palette and... People love Breath of the Wild. I've heard the durability of weapons in that is an absolute nightmare. Yeah, though. I heard that things break really quickly. Like you, you put all your effort into making an incredibly strong weapon for it just to break in like a few hits or something. Yeah, that, I, hate, I hate stuff like that. Weapons breaking, it annoys the hell Durability, out. yeah. It can be, it can be okay. If, if done correctly... Uh, let's not step on the toes of Zelda either, because people fang, go crazy over that. Well, people got to watch our videos first, Luke, to... Uh... <laughs> yeah, well, this could be it, the, the controversy that gets us going. Yeah. <laughs> right, uh, okay, so... Just I you no, know, yeah, but I think I actually have to go this way, I have to climb this mountain to... Um... Who do you think the girl in the cape is? What do you think her name is? i I got a feeling it's his sister or something, or... You think? I think, that's what, orange cape? I think that's who he was looking for. Why he's come here? You think? Yeah, maybe. Well, is there anything we missed in the opening cutscene? It was just like no. It, it was a fe it was a red feather. Oh yeah. That came floating by. Do you reckon that represents him or? I don't know. Or the fox? I don't, maybe think, fo I don't think the fox plays a very big role in this. Maybe he's dead. And it's like the island of the lost. And like we just. What like, is it like limbo or something? It's something like that. Yeah. Well, yeah. And he's just following his spirit animal. Maybe. No, that's a possibility. Maybe we're just looking well too deep into this. Maybe. Maybe it's just a nice game. Just play it. Pretty. Uh, oh, so this is where you, you were just at the bottom of this tower, weren't you? Mm -hmm. In the water. I've climbed all the way up. Oh, here we go. she is. Or he. We don't know what he is. That's really cool. You've got to make really... this jump in, otherwise you've got to climb all the way back up. That's really cool, isn't it? Who are you? Who are you? I want to know who he is. Show yourself! Don't run away from me. Can you run in this game? Like no, it's just it, as far as you can run. There's been a lot of complaints apparently about it. Like, saying, oh, it's not fast enough. I think it's okay. Hmm. It's, the games do do that, where they just have a set, a, a standard player speed and they don't give a sprint. Mm. And then there's other games where you move slowly, but then you have a sprint. So it's just the same thing, really. Oh, that score, Luke. It is really good. So I've got one mere piece in at the moment. The music's amazing, actually. It's, I might actually try and look at the soundtrack at some point. It's really, really nice. I could actually, I could listen to this. I, I listen to the Lord of the Rings soundtrack sometimes. That's do, do you know what? It reminds me of Fable a little bit. 
Inception. Yeah. I listen to the main th- uh, song in that. The main, I like Inception. that a lot. Yeah. Um, oh God, shit! Where do I go? I miss a good Fable game. <laughs> what good Fable game? First one and the second one were good. The third one yeah. was okay. Third one was awful. Third one was crap. I enjoyed the third one for the most part, but it wasn't as good. The thing I didn't like about the second and third one is they took away like armor. You just had clothes. And you yeah, just I know. Like, an absolute idiot. Um, first one was the best. I'll leave it at that. Second one tried too many different things. It, people love the second one when you speak to them. Like, they seem to really. The dog. It. I love that. I love the uh, corporation. The dog. The dog companion. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I do wish they'd make another Fable game, but it's never. The, the studio's gone under, hasn't it? The yeah. statue next to you, by the way. Did you get that one? Oh, no, I've already got this one. It's not glowing, is it? So it's creaked out. It's lost its life force. I don't. I'm already. I guess I'm not really trying to go for um, 100% here. I'm just sort of playing it, yandering like, around. Yeah. yeah. Oh, All right. Uh, what's that glowing there? Then? Is that just to show you where to go? Oh, you can activate it. Yeah, this is the thing. I can now. Um, I can now do. Oh, oh, oh. Huh. Breathe! <gasps> there he is, the, the fox. fox! We did it, Ben. Hello! What do we call him? Foxy. Genius. Foxy Bingo. <laughs> oh, here we go. Ooh. Luke, honestly, this is, this is not like you want to get a PS4. It might actually be out on Xbox, actually. I'll have a look when I get home. The only reason I don't have a PS4 is just because I haven't bothered to buy one. <laughs> um, Lazy. I do want one, but I've got so much stuff at the moment, it's like clutter everywhere. Uh, maybe I'll get one that's something in the next week or something. <gasps> oh, what's that? It's gross looking. It's a little baby. It's a little, little bubba. So this opens a new part of the island now. Yeah. That's maybe cool. you need to get to the top, maybe you'll meet that. Um... <gasps> There's the fox in the distance. Oh, right. Follow our spirit animal. Oh, I'll quickly look down here. Dun, dun, dun. Don't drop off or anything. Do you know my spirit animal is the wolf, Luke? What, in real life? In real life, honestly. Now, have you proof of this? Uh, I, I met a... Um, not met, I paid for it. Right. <laughs> um, God, what the fuck are they called? I completely lost what they're called. A medium. That's it. Um, I don't think she had a different name, though. And um, She talks about your spirit animal and stuff and who it is. and. Yeah. She said mine was a wolf, but the wolf never enters any of the buildings I'm in. Only always waits outside for me. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. And do you believe that? Yeah, I believe. I love all stuff. Well, I mean, obviously it sounds like bollocks, but <laughs> I love I, it, stuff like that really interests me. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. Look, it'd be cool. I would like to see it. It'd be cool if spirit animals. I mean, I don't think it's real, but um, it'd be cool if it was. What happened there? Oh, I see. That's timed. Okay. Ah, right. So that's timed. Give the little weird child a blowy and then blowy, yep. Yeah. So we've got, the, we've got the power of what? Bread. Shouting? <laughs> yeah, something like that. Maybe we're uh, like a Dover king. Maybe we're just a spoiled little child and we shout to get our own way. It's like it's it's called Bre- it's like Sky it's Breath of the Wild. It's literally that. <laughs> right. We'll finish this cutscene, I think, and that'll be the end. Hello mate. Don't run away from me, come here. Called him Fire. Fire um, Fox. What can we call Vixen? Vixen? That's a female fox, so. It might be a female. How do you know it's not a vi- female? I don't know. Let's Let's call it Vixen then. Let's give it its very accurate. No, we'll call it Vixen from Mongrels. Vixen, oh yeah. <laughs> God, that was a great show. Yeah, it was so, so great, wasn't it? The first series was better. Right, I think we need to end. Oh. We've met Vixen. <laughs> um, um, that was pretty much it, wasn't it? We didn't do anything else. <laughs> that was pretty much it, yeah. Okay, right, we'll end on this beautiful music and we'll see you in the next episode. Yes, yeah, see you in the next episode, guys. Bye. Bye, Ryan. Okay, I thought we were going to shout.